What's up everybody? Welcome Squat Squad and welcome to Slav Guns on Tour. I'm here with Aaron from Anarchy Outdoors and we are talking about the latest trends in precision and long range shooting. Depends on your definition of long range. And one of the most popular topics, I know one you're very passionate about, is a bunch of 22s. <laughs> I think you can define extreme long range based on the caliber you use there you go because if you're a 22 500 yards could be extreme if you're a 338 maybe 2500 yards yeah if you're a force if you're a 375 shy attack maybe 5000 yards. yeah i think i think we can define what extreme long there you go is. anyways we're talking precision 22 Pre precision 22 is and talking to industry people i mean one of the biggest growth areas some of the top sellers that they have uh, so in my case, basically talking to, uh, so talking to Thompson Center, they sold a bunch of TCR 22 semi-autos. And when you talk at the Ruger catalog, and one of the most popular videos that we did from SHOT Show was the Precision Rimfire 22 and the Ruger, hold on, I always screw this one up, Ruger American Rimfire Long Range 22. Oh, which isn't this one, but it's the same thing. Similar to that. Uh, but it seems like everyone's on a 22 craze these days. 22 bender, baby. Um, and I guess part of it could be really COVID because, well, we can't all, no one can find a six creed more or six five creed more. So we go deep in our storage cabinet. I mean, look for 22 ammo. So the trend started before COVID. Okay. So one thing, and, and we talked about this in one of our other videos and he'll probably put the intro up first. Um, and we talked about being in the game, being able to see the trends and kind of see what's going on. Yeah. And we spotted a trend in I would say late 2019 yeah. late 2019 the 22 market yeah. was starting to explode and it started I don't know if it started with the I don't know I don't think it was this guy I think it was more the CZ I think it was the CZ the Tika, followed very fast by Bagara and Ruger yes I'm not sure which one came I first. Think I think Ruger, the Ruger, Ruger, came first. Ruger came out and then the Bagara was and then the Bagara, after the Bagara came out and it actually really started with probably Voodoo Tactical. Yes. They're in oh, St. They're in St. George, Utah. They kind of really kicked off the precision, high accuracy 22 game, followed I by would say all even, of the big manufacturers, and then followed by um, the aftermarket Remington yeah. guys. And I would even say basically part of it, like even go, if you go back slightly beyond that, it was the Volkwurzens with taking a Ruger 1022. And, and just seeing like, hey, how far precision, how much can we push it? And then the crazy bolt action people came in and were like, okay, let's take that idea of long range and precision and really knock it out of the ballpark. Well, you also think about how do you grow the sport? Yes. Shooting center fire, precision, rifle, PRS, NRL, whatever you want to call it, it's expensive. Yeah. Like, especially with COVID pricing. Where you need 200 rounds to shoot a two-day match. That could you easily need, be at least $400 or, or of ammo. you need 100 rounds. Yeah. That's 400 bucks. Well, for 80 bucks, you can buy a 500-round brick of precision 22 ammo. Yep. And so we were we were quick on the market. Um, we spotted it, and in early 2020, uh, mm -hmm. we made a decision to chase the 22 market hard with some of our already proven parts and mm -hmm. concepts. And we went into the 2020 SHOT Show looking for ultimatums action. Yeah. Looking for the Rimex by Bighorn Zermatt. Looking at the Voodoo. There was someone else who released uh, 22. Oh, um, Curtis Arms. Uh, Correct. Curtis Customs was working on one. And then from the factory. Christensen's Arms yeah, Christians was and Arms working was on one. And then from the factory, you have, you know, Area, uh, not Area 419. That's, <laughs> who, that's, that's who built this. Anyways. CZ. Yes. CZ. CZ put out a 457. Yes. On their tried and true, muchly improved 455. Correct. So very much, we thought they were going to be very similar. They overhauled yeah. it completely. Followed by Tika, you know, followed by Ruger and Bagara. So all of the custom action companies were making actions, and all the big boys decided to make 22s as well. So... Just laying out here, we covered the twenty, the Rimfire twenty two, in um, in another video when yeah. we did the Rugers. Let's, let's do a quick overview on this one. Great gun. Yes. Shoots well out of the box. Is it going to get you all the way to number one? Probably not. I did see. I have seen guys win with the Ruger Precision. Mm -hmm. 
some of them have struggle with accuracy. Not all of them. Some of them do. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to spend more time finding the right ammo. Correct. Finding the right ammo um, and making sure everything's tight. Mm -hmm. I can screw with everything. So 400 bucks, you're mm -hmm. into the game. Okay. 400 bucks for the gun. And then you and can then buy... And what, then what accessories would you need for it? Or, or how do you optimize the gun? Yeah, so this is a more expensive scope, but you could buy... Like, this is a $600. There's even... There's one over there that's yeah. like well, 299 A couple of the big popular ones have been... So, Element Opt... Uh, I'm sorry, Element Optics Titan Scope. Uh, you have the Arkin SH4 Gen 2. So, in the Rimfire community, yeah. this is the number one. The Midas Tac. Midas Tac, yep. In the competition circles, this is this is probably the most popular. Right, right. and because it has ample internal elevation adjustment yeah, and has, good enough image quality. It has both. capped windage. It's mm -hmm. in a good price point. It's like six hundred bucks. Yep. Or probably even a little bit cheaper. Six fifty. I can't remember. It has everything you need for twenty two. Yeah. Anyways, for the Ruger Precision, some of the must needs are you know a vertical grip. I like reds. So you gotta accessorize. Well, tell drop that magazine. Um, we have an improved handle. This was built for the um for this guy we built it for the ruger american the basic rim the, fire. the basic rim fire is same action same concept parts are interchangeable so we did the handle we just released the bolt shroud for this rifle uh they come in black and red and then of course we're famous for our handles and our knobs we also do a scope base as well and we're going to convince Sharp Bros to make a chassis. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to call them after this. Um, and some muzzle work. So that's the basic stuff for this gun. Out of the box, I would say you need a vertical grip and a scope. Yeah. Uh, then you can accessorize it as you compete and you find needs. Or if you just want to deck it, go for it. Go for broke. There you go. So cheek pad to cheek pad, vertical grip, done. So then this guy here, and we can flip the bipod up. This guy here is Bagara's B14R. Mm -hmm. Kind of revolutionary because it's affordable. They shoot really well. And they're a Remington footprint. Yes. So you can put it in almost any stock that fits a Remington. Great. It comes in a pretty good stock um, to begin with. If you're going to compete, you got to have an arc RL and a few other things. So, guys, you know, they throw them in their favorite chassis. If you have a big gun yeah. that you use, you can throw it in a Bravo, you can throw it in a Masterpiece, MDT, XLR, whatever. Correct. They work. And if you already have a centerfire gun that you've already built and you want to drop it in, and most if, if, if it's the same footprint. Yeah, guys ask me which one to build. All of these guns shoot very, very well. This one's probably the least accurate. But and then it's, it's then it's just down to the shooter and right. ammo with these. But even just to kind of put it in perspective, least accurate, it's still it's still very it's still, it's still very accurate. accurate. I mean, we're talking very accurate. The most consistent I've seen from gun to gun in a factory setup yep. is the T1X. Yes. Doesn't matter which T1X you buy, we've had four. They all shoot the same. Yeah. So very much accurate. So what I tell people is one: if you have a trigger that you can't live without, buy the Bagara because you can put because most likely you're using a Remington, you can put your trigger in there, and it's good to go. And then um, also your scope bases and your different uh, stocks. Mm -hmm. It's all It can all be familiar to you. Yeah. Me, it doesn't really matter what action I use, so it doesn't really bother me to switch between a Remington action and some other things. So, so for the Bagara, we manufacture kind of a unique bolt handle mm -hmm. to us. It has a self-timing nut that allows you to position this however you want it. You can swing it in towards the chassis, you can swing it out, you can move it around, you can get it where you want it, lock it down, good to go. Mm -hmm. Takes a Remington scope base, we make Remington scope bases in MOAs that aren't typical, so we make 0-20s, 30s, and 40s, okay. um, with bubble levels in them. And those are awesome. Yeah, we were told <laughs> it wasn't possible, and we, we just we figured it out. There you go. Yeah, we were told it wasn't possible because of the screw pattern. If you look down there, you can see where, if you look at the rest of our scope bases, yep. there's a screw right there. Okay. Yep, so we I were told it. it wasn't possible. Well, we improvised. We worked on the clearance. Mm -hmm. We got it. We got it figured out. We did it. So we offer those for normal Remingtons and for the Bagaras. And we got our full port, big boy muzzle brake on there just so you can make sure the bullet left the barrel. Because when you're shooting subs, all you hear is the trigger pull. 
Uh, especially if you have a suppressor on. <laughs> yes. It's the last part of the gun. No, I mean, people like to accessorize the, I mean, on a 22, you know, save your shoulder, buy a muzzle brake, don't hurt yourself. Just kidding. <laughs> they just look cool. I mean, it's, I mean, sometimes they improve the accuracy though, because it yes. changes the harmonics a it little bit. It does. Sometimes it decreases the accuracy. Correct. So, so I, I, won't, I, I, won't, I won't give too much crap for using a muzzle brake and a rimfire. Now, if this was a rimfire pistol, look I would the, give you a lot of crap. Look, look, look at that hellfire on the end of that one. Yeah, you got a freaking tuner on there. Look at, look at that hellfire, baby. <laughs> I'm breaking my shoulder with this guy. Okay, so that so we got the Picara B14. So we'll, uh, we'll just fold this down. Great gun, works well. I personally shoot a CZ 457. I love this rifle. Okay. This is the gun I use. I bought a factory 457. Okay. Put it in an Indian, Indian Creek design chassis. Okay. My father-in-law owns that gun today. He, I took him out. He shot it and said, I want one. Yep. And I told him, okay, you can have it. Then I called my buddy Craig at Area 419 and said, boy, I need a gun. And this is back when CZ would sell them just the action. Okay. CZ's government won't let them export just the action anymore. Mm -hmm. So Bartland Barrel, Cerakoted by Area 419, and then Craig just, God bless him, he fluted it, so it would be badass, without asking. Okay, so, 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 it, so it looks good. Yeah, for people who are not deep into the Precision 22 world, we're not competing in NRL 22 matches, when somebody looks at this. What, you, what, you, you, you wanna argue with my $5,000 22? Isn't this a little nuts? <laughs> yes, you can very much get away with this gun, or this gun, or this gun, any of them. Um, I like, well, I run a gun business. Okay. Everything I do is marketing. All the pictures I take, they go on Instagram. Yeah. They get used in videos. So when, when I called Craig and I said, Hey man, I, I need a, I need a gun. And yeah. I love the way these look, you know, Craig, Craig took care of me. Yeah. Cause he knows what the gun's going to be used for. Correct. How many pictures can be taken of it, and different things, and that's why he fluted this without asking me. Okay. He knew what I was using the gun for. So, if somebody is, I mean, we know there's a lot of people in the gun community who they just want to have the best, even though they know that probably they won't outshoot the gun, uh, or say the gun is not going to hold them back. Um, what is the what is somebody getting practically in this that we're not getting in the Bergara or the Ruger Precision Rifle? Like what are, what else? What are you paying for? You're paying for style points. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're being honest. I, I will tell you, this is a Bartland barrel. Okay. Chambered by Bartland on the CZ action. This gun shoots one hole groups with very little effort. Very little effort. Yeah. I mean it. It shoots super well it's a great rifle the the ruger will take you a little bit to get it to shoot the bagar is going to take you a little bit to get it to shoot our experience with the tika they just shoot yeah these stupid little pencil barrels just shoot like crazy i mean tika tika does their own thing everyone else look at the barrel size on these guns and the barrel on my factory yes. wasn't much smaller Correct. than that right but look at the tika barrel yeah hey let's put the only pencil barrel on the market with all these other barrels. So Tika does their own thing, but this gun shoots. Yes. I would recommend a T1X mm -hmm. over everything. So. Even though this is your personal gun, that would be your recommendation. Yes. Yeah, just yeah. because, I mean, if you're, if you're wanting to get up and running as fast as possible with as minimum effort, I'd recommend the Tika T1X. Okay. And so this is the T1X. Uh, we have the KRG Bravo stock that we find on this gun as well. Um, and then we talked about it in the Tika video, but what, uh, what type of accessories do you have on here? Okay, so we'll talk, we'll talk Tika real one facts because yeah. uh, we got a bunch of new products on the CZ that you can't see unless I flip the gun over. But anyways, we've got cheek pads. This is one of the original prototypes. It doesn't have all of our fancy engraving on it. This is Clark Shooter's gun. If you're on Instagram, Tier mm -hmm. One Concealed, his, their, one of their marketing guys. Um, but we have our handle, just like the Bagara. This one has a little uh, flange to mm -hmm. make it just more aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's needed because of how it transitions versus the Bagara so that the handle, 
This is FDE Acorn. Mm -hmm. We make an extended mag release, size of your finger, designed by my brother-in-law who shoots competitions with me with a Tika very similar. And he just came to me and said, hey, look, I was struggling with this. I designed a product. Here you go. We paid him for the product design and yeah. we're, we're off to the races. Great gun. We also make a scope base designed by him as well because he needed a 30 MOA scope base on a T1X. And the only difference is this action is shorter than the big Tika, so it requires a different scope base. Yeah. Um, where it's not, that's not typical of most Tikas. And then we make this muzzle brake up here because muzzle brakes are legit. So yeah, I mean, that's the T1X in okay. a nutshell. We make, you know, a handful of products for it, but they are well thought out and, uh, and awesome products. And then the, my child, my, my, my baby, the, the, the CZ, I love the Bravo chassis. It's probably the only, well, at the time it was the only thing for it. Yes. But, you know, M, um, XLR makes one, mm -hmm. uh, MDT makes one now, yeah. but they're not priced as nice yeah. as this. And I guess a large part of that is because you, the only reason those are options is because the massive growth and Right, the massive and growth and fire. And I chose, instead of buying an expensive chassis, I, spent, I decided to spend my money right here. Yeah. Because the Bravo does everything it needs to do, and then I could spend more money. Yeah on glass so it's it's a caveat i mean you can have a sexy chassis mm -hmm. it's t t and that's the great thing about guns it's each to their own um we sell a lot of bravos so yes. for me it's a marketing move correct take a lot of pictures oh, plus of it's this. a really nice stock i mean it's, it's a really nice stock it's a really nice stock it's one that we I've been, like, we, for a we, long time. we do sell these very we've been talking about you know the beauties of the rkl that is slide the bipod clip it into a tripod and things like that so the CZ, uh, we retail Area 419 scope base for the CZ, mm -hmm. best one on the market. They owe me a 50 MOA one because then I can use the full ability of the Night Force NXS. Okay. Sorry, and, so, uh, this, is a, this is an NX8, sorry, NX8. So how far out with the 50 MOA base, let's say in the scope, how far out would you be able to get out with the rim fire? Probably 600 wow. yards. I've gone out with this rifle set up very similar to this. Mm -hmm. I've gone out to 475, mm -hmm. had to dial 21, max out at 21, mm -hmm. had to hold five mils in the reticle. Okay. So a 50 MOA base, because I'm like a quarter way up my elevation, mm -hmm. 50 MOA base would allow me to zero close to the bottom and probably push 600 yards, wow. which is doable with, yeah. with a rimfire. So it's it's not hard to hit. And, and it's funny, like we're just talking, make the plate really big. It's like we're talking here. We're talking about shooting at those distances with rim fire. Meanwhile, brand new gun owners, they would love to hit that. They would consider that as long range with the six five green or something. Yeah. Like. So I put my dad on a floating platform last weekend. Uh -huh. He's never shot on a floating platform. Handed him this rifle, and I told him, "Look, there's target." So he's floating, right? We're yeah. shooting three little inch diamond targets. You know, I had targets from 25 yards mm -hmm. to 100, and I said, if you're going to go out to 100, it's here's your two adjustments. Yes. And he sat over there and swung on that little floating platform, and dude just banged away. He had so much fun. So when guys ask me, why, why Precision 22? You only shoot 100 yards. Yeah, but it's all fun. Yeah. And it's inexpensive, and my dad had a blast. Yeah. I've been trying to get my dad to go out and shoot with me for a long time, and I finally he couldn't get out of it. So... Um, he shoots with me and uh, sometimes, and uh, it was just fun. Just, yeah. I went out to shoot. I think I shot a total of 10 rounds, and I just, just watching him was just what I needed. So, anyways, I use shooting as therapy. So, um, we do the, the factory knob is made with an M6 thread pattern. Okay. So, here's a little Bertha, brainchild developed by my brother in law mm -hmm. with some input from me. I gave him the, the three competitors' knobs mm -hmm. and then was like, I want these turned into a child. I want these three to make a baby. And he made this little baby. So uh, my brother-in-law does a lot of just design for us mm -hmm. on, on just things that he uses. So it's easier to get stuff from him that, that he wants to make than asking him to make things. <laughs> but <laughs> but so anyways, inspire him to make stuff. But anyway, so uh, on here we have the um, this uh, little Bertha. So mm -hmm. it's M6. We stock a bunch of M6, including Area 419's Hourglass mm -hmm. as well. Um, 
This is a, t as you can see, you can't probably see the purple, but this is a Timney Beta mm -hmm. flat face trigger. And we can, uh, we can dry fire because I already broke the firing pin. Okay. So we're making a CZ firing pin. Please don't dry fire with it. Yes. Put a, you can go buy those little yellow drywall plugs. You can slide it in the chamber and you can protect your action. Um, so you can do that or just use your broken one like me. I couldn't figure out, I was getting 80% fires. I pulled out the firing pin and I chipped the whole bottom of it off. So it was only, and then I did, so I changed the spring mm -hmm. to a Yo Dave um, uh, spring for okay. the um, firing pin spring. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it hits a little harder, so it's nice. And then I have a new factory CZ um, firing pin in it because okay. ours isn't quite ready yet. So those are the accessories right there. Area 419 scope base, America Rifle Company rings. Absolutely love them. Great. People laugh when I put them on really inexpensive guns. I'm trying to see if I've got one over there. <laughs> Usually, if we had a Ruger American, it would have it on there. Look, $400 rifle, $200 rings, right? $400 rifle, $200 rings. I use American Rifle Company rings. Yeah. I just like the, 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 the way they work. We also have... Send it level, electronic level. Okay. I use the visual cues uh, to remind me to level the gun before I shoot. It's kind of a crutch of mine, but you know, you can only, you can only, you can only improve so much um, or so many things at once. Yes. So pick one thing, improve it, pick another, improve it. But I mean, even the pros I shoot with, they use it because it's just a, it's just a visual reminder. Right? Everyone likes a visual reminder. So what we have new here, though, is, and I did not bring a mag over here with me, but we created a funnel. Wow. A mag block, right? I see that. So that the CZ's got a really skinny mm -hmm. mag well, and inside this, in, inside the mag well, inside the mag well, is just really small, and it's hard to, to hit it. Yeah. In the dark, while you're not looking. There you go. With one hand. So we created this funnel. It's going to hit... It might hit. It might have already be on the website. Okay. We've been really bad at new product launches recently. Well, I'm sure, like other companies, well, with, I mean, with you, COVID, you can barely you've keep seen, up you've with seen, demand. You've seen how many products we've we've created. Yes. And you've seen our design board. Yes. So yeah, we're we've hired someone to create a product launch process, <laughs> so that we can advertise it before we launch it and create all the content and everything. There you go. Anyways, so this is this is just a beautiful funnel basically it's a it's a magwell block slides right in and then we used to have just a straight aluminum mm -hmm. extended mag release which if you order some of our bottom metals they still come okay. but we're transitioning to one very much like the t1x yes. see that wow nice wide yeah nice and wide and it's palmer instead of aluminum so very nice very wide we've been working on this for a long time to get it to get exactly right. Yeah. So these are two new products we have for the CZ 457. Fantastic. So great, great rim fire, great rifle. Um, again, the rim fire, I get asked this all the time. I wanna get into precision rifle, where do I start? I usually would say, you know, buy a 223, buy a 65 Creedmoor, but now I start asking more questions. Yeah. How far can you shoot? How far do you wanna shoot? What, what are the local ranges like? Yeah. What can you actually utilize? Talking to Mark, mm -hmm. VP of Ruger Marketing. Yes. He said the gun he shoots the most is this one. Yeah. Because he has 200 yards off his back porch. Yep. And that's what I tell people. The rim fire, it's not going anywhere. Correct. It's inexpensive. It's a blast to shoot. Like, I like shooting long range, but you can make the targets really small. Correct. Put them at close distance. And it's the same challenge, yep. and the skills translate. Correct. All you have to do is recoil management. Rim fire for days. Rim fire for days, and it's been growing in popularity, and I'm guessing it's probably not going to slow down anytime soon. Don't knock it till you try it. There you go. Uh, so, as always, uh, keep your questions coming. If you have anything, any questions on any of these guns, or you have a product request for Aaron and Aaron Care Doors, leave them as a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more 
really, really cool content, including Gucci pictures with this gun. Uh, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Keep on squatting, and we'll see you in the next video.